You want to know something that's so great about living in Southern California? You can start your morning off overlooking the beach from the Santa Monica Pier, and within two hours, you can be in the middle of the desert. scared the shit out of me. Oh. Wow, what a trip. Looks like a picture of where we're at. Huh. 2004. Hello? It's like an old fish tank and just some belongings. There's a few more of these. Let's go see. Uh, let's finish this one, but let's go see what else is over here. It's like an old motel from the 50s. Not completely positive. Okay, so obviously I am in another abandoned place. Um, this one is pretty cool. I found it through another channel. Uh, make sure you check out a girl named Wonder Hussy. She's got a lot of cool abandoned videos, urbex, exploring type stuff. She does a lot of videos in California and Nevada. I think that's where she's from. She came here a while back and she found some really cool um, stuff left behind, like letters and just personal items. It kind of really uh, got me inspired to come here and give it my take, you know, my perspective on it. However, there's some people, let me show you guys. Let me turn this around. There's actually some people in that last set of motels. I'm not gonna be able to go in. I don't know who they are, what they're doing. They're sitting in a car talking. And uh, when it comes to urban exploring, I'm good. And who's this? City worker. <laughs> Looks like a railway worker. But yeah, I'm not gonna be able to go into that last house just based on the fact that somebody's down there. I don't know who they are. So I'm gonna try to hit at least five abandoned places. So yeah, I'm here in California desert. Let's check this little adventure out. Let's go. Interesting. Dark as hell. I wonder if this was like a holding area. Maybe for when a prisoner first came in, they would hold them here, process them, they would come here and get their, I don't know what that is, that's definitely. 
Very interesting. So even though I've been here before, my goal today is to check out, uh, try to squeeze in five abandoned places. This is number two. We're gonna lose sunlight. So let me just, uh, let me just get through. Boron Federal Prison is pretty cool. It's pretty open range as far as like security. Never heard of anybody having a problem getting in here. A lot of good graffiti. Actually some of the best I've seen like this. Check this out, you guys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm digging that. I'm feeling that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Five abandoned places, like I said before. Let's move on. We're going to Randsburg. Yeah, Randsburg. I said it wrong before. It's an abandoned ghost town. Um, yeah, let's make it happen. Hello. Just an old shed. Okay, we are really close to Randsburg right now. And it already looks just incredibly abandoned. All these houses and structures, I don't know what this car's been in here. It's pretty crazy, I'm like in the middle of nowhere. Let's check it out. Hello? Not open. Oh, sorry about that. Somebody answered. Wow, let's go. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. So as you guys can see, we made it here to Randsburg. And this is just such an incredibly old town. It reminds me of when I was in uh, Tonopah, Nevada. General store. This is truly what they call a ghost town. And they call it that because nobody lives here anymore. Just a couple small antique shops, a few businesses. Now there is a lot of abandoned houses. I'm gonna try to see if I can 
rub shoulders with one of the locals and possibly talk to them about going into some of these houses. I mean, this building right here is probably over a hundred years old. I just love it. All right, let's see what we can find. All right, so I gotta be honest with you. Um, even though this is a ghost town, the few people that were here, they were still like looking at us kind of weird. Maybe they're weird, I don't know, but a lot of no trespassing signs. However, even though this is closer to the actual highway, I'm gonna try to get into this when there's no cars. Check this spot out. Cool, right? Man, this floor feels bouncy like it's just going to give out. Hmm. Well, sorry I didn't make much for a video. I just woke up this morning. I figured, you know, I'd take the day off and I'm going to go find some abandoned stuff. Better luck next time, I always say. Oh, in about three or four weeks, we're going to do a uh, haunted hotel in San Diego. That's going to be really dope. Stay tuned for that. All right, see you in the next video. Later.